This webinar is for information purposes only. It is not intended to be legal advice. We do not supply legal advice. If you require legal advice, please contact a qualified legal professional. All information in this webinar is private. All results can be different and your actions or results are your own responsibility. We cannot be held responsible for other people's actions and or results. Hello everyone, Peter Wilson here again. I'm, uh, I'm going to try and do this in my car. It looks a little bit wobbly, but I think it's going to be okay. I've got it on a, a, a movable stand. Um, probably better for in the house, but I've just been along to my son's gym there in uh, Newcastle. Done a little bit of sparring with him, which is why I'm a few bruises <laughs> and uh, a few scrapes. Oh, that's wobbly. But, uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, the webinar on Saturday night, 6 o'clock UK time for the members. Or if you've bought it, you know, for there. You should have the link. I think I've set it up properly this time. Automatic and everything like that. Um, so you, you should get the link for it, hopefully, anyway. But uh, it's going to be like on the Accept for Value and also the support and paperwork and stuff like that. Um, but I was just thinking like on the Accept for Value, the, uh, the, the words on it, accept, you've got to accept the debt. You know, accept the fact that there is a debt and agree with them. That's all I want to talk about. So... Uh, actually agreeing with them, being on the same page as them, being on the same side as them, and not arguing and fighting. Okay? Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because when we've done our paperwork and sent our paperwork off to all the uh, different people, we're sending it off and uh, we, we're actually saying that we agree you know, with them and we're on the same side as them and that we come in peace. Um, you know, and we're not going to be fighting or arguing or anything like that. And that's the same for the accept for value. You know, you're not going to be arguing and fighting and you're accepting the fact that there is a debt. And then you're going to settle it by using the correct method of creating a money order and sending the money order off to the correct person. Okay? Which if you ever try to do it, make sure you send it to the person who's requesting the money. Do not send it to the treasury. Do not send it to your local bank manager. You know, that might sound daft if you think you know about, but like, you know, some people have tried doing that. Apparently, uh, my friend was telling me that, uh, you know, he'd explain for someone to do it, and for some reason, maybe it's a misheard, whatever, but they'd send it to the local bank manager. Your local bank, <laughs> your local bank manager's not gonna know, um, I suppose, I don't know not going to know anything about uh, this type of stuff, you know, they might think they do, but they don't know anything about real money or real finance or anything like that, and you don't send it to the treasury, the treasury, I I've actually got like a, 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 a little excerpt, excerpt, whatever you call it, an excerpt of um, a page on the uh, website, the treasury website, and it states, you know, that we've been getting uh, requests to pay off bills and such and such, you know, um, using like a uh, birth certificate number and saying that we have no numbers, we have no bonds, we have no this, no that, no the next thing. Uh, birth certificates are just purely for um, a record of somebody being born, you know, which, I mean, they're half right, you know, they're already saying like, you don't send it, basically they're saying don't send it to us and you don't send it to them. You know, so they're not like, you know, they are lying because there is a bond created and uh, they do create a completely different uh, fiction when you do the birth certificate. I mean, it's proven beyond discussion now on, on in every country across the globe, you know, it's proven. Um, your legal fiction, your straw man, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, so what, 
when you're looking at uh, you know the film The Wizard of Oz well I spoke about it before and it were like you know the film about the straw man showing he had no brain he was an idiot you know didn't know what was going on well that, that, that's them that's them talking about us you know that film the whole film was about us originally the uh, I can't remember the, uh, Dorothy and it Dorothy uh, her shoes were silver you know that on the original book um and the script when it was meant to be like silver shoes because silver was your saviour you know the shoes always saved that and the other witch wanted the shoes and they changed them to scarlet or something or red, whatever it was anyway the red slipper something like that but they were originally they were silver because silver saved you okay we've been saying for a while now you know investing in silver because they've got rid of all the gold and silver they've got rid of the gold standard in the UK they got rid of it in 1931 <clears throat> got rid of the gold standard for the uh pound sterling sterling silver that's why it was called that sterling silver that's where you used to buy sterling silver so the pound was uh pound sterling and then they got rid of it so you couldn't tie it to uh silver or gold and then they did this exactly the same in the united states in 1933 so you know everything that they've done in, in the uk they always repeated it in the usa later on but anyway so back to the point that i'm making i was talking about like um uh coming peace being peaceful not fighting not arguing you know everybody sort of like uh, i mean you know when you're doing like your uh, accept for value you have to accept the fact that they are correct and there is a debt so a lot of people when they say oh they're going to court and they're going to fight for the rights you know and you're always fighting you're always arguing and you're trying to tell them that you're not this and you're not that the next thing you know when you do a UCC1 now not everybody agrees with doing it some people say that you shouldn't do it some people say that it's pointless some people say that well you're agreeing with the, uh, the government to me <laughs> it depends on where you live but you're actually declaring an international status that um, you are not your legal fiction and that you're agreeing with them that you're not the legal fiction. But um, one thing, see, I was always taught and shown to copyright um, your your uh, trademark, uh, which is your full capital's name, and then also like your uh, lowercase name, uh, which I still do. Uh, you know, I still put that on. Um, but then someone else was arguing the other day, and it was like, well, and it is true. You know that who who creates it owns it all right that is a fact in law who creates it owns it so who created the legal fiction right the crown corporation created the legal fiction they created it so they own it they have crown copyright have you heard that term before crown copyright right so the crown and i'm not talking about the crown being you know that not not the queen talking about the crown corporation which is the vatican okay which is owned by the crown corporation which is the venetians which is the phoenicians which is the Khazarians, which is the canaanites going all the way back to cain and abel all right from the bible the two sons of adam and eve and then cain killed abel actually cain ate abel not just killed him, ate him. Cain ate Abel. Cain Abel, cannibal. That's where the word comes from. But anyway, so we're going back. So you're talking about Crown Corporation copyright owning the uh, the legal fiction. Not you, not owning you, but le owning the legal fiction, which is not you. Which is the whole point that we're trying to make all the time. Um, but what you're doing is you're separating yourself from your legal fiction by doing that UCC one and separating it. And we also do the same and we support it with the paperwork that we send off. And you send it off to them people saying, hey, I'm not that. Don't tell me I'm that. And we're obviously like, you know, they get signed for, they get uh, registered. You've got all the proof of posting. Um, and it comes or well, it doesn't come back and you don't get any rebuttal because it's an affidavit you've sent off affidavits 
Um, so then you, you know, you send off your acceptance letter saying thank you for accepting the fact that you realise and agree with me that I am not my uh, legal fiction. I am not this full capital's name. Blah blah blah. All right, and then uh, you, know, you know that's like you're doing it on a. You've done it on an international scale, then you do it on the national scale, which is when you send off your affidavits, and then you start pulling it down and doing the local scale, where you do it to like your local uh, governments. Now we don't do it to like the local courthouses unless you've got a court case, because like in the UK we've tried it and they just keep sending it back. We're wasting postage, time, effort, money, you know. So you don't send it to the local courthouse in the UK. They accept them in the US. But you can only do it if you've got a court case number in the UK. But you do send it off to like, you know, your local council, which, which is the local government. Find out who's the leader of the, 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 the council in your area. And you need to put them on notice as well. The same that you've done with the, the upper echelons of the uh, government, okay? starting to cool off a bit now, I was boiling there, just finished training in my son's gym in Newcastle, so I'm going back out into the countryside now, get away from the city, but uh, I was going to go and, uh, shopping, go and buy some uh, more celery, drink celery juice every morning, it's disgusting, but uh, it cleanses all your uh, liver and kidneys, it's rid of all the toxins, you know, so it's good for you. Anything that tastes disgusting has got to be good for you, eh? Is that right? <laughs> but anyway, so I was just talking about this, like, uh, being at peace. I don't know, I keep ranting on, but, like, being at peace, being in peace, and not fighting with um, the, uh, trying to fight for your rights and everything like that. And but remember when you're doing the UCC1, everyone's in agreement, okay? You've actually agreed that you um, are not the uh, straw man, not the legal fiction, but that you have an interest. You are declaring your interest, all right? Now, you'll hear a lot of people uh, talking about trying to get remedy, you know, from um, the trust, from, from their set the KV trust. But, uh, and that's probably, that's part of the reason why we do, like, uh, you want to call it remedy, um, doing the, uh, the accept for value, in a way it is remedy, if you do it correctly, make a correct money order, and you send it off right with the right paperwork, correct paperwork, but, what you're talking about is living in the private, alright, so that, you know, these acts and statutes, statutory legislation does not apply to you, alright, that is what you're, uh, one to be in so you have to be in acceptance of that and being in agreement with that and be coming in peace so it's all I'm just talking about so like you know there's nothing wrong you know with accepting uh, the fact of uh, you know the straw man and everything but you you know don't you don't always have to say well look you know I'm gonna wear um, put copyright on what is already copyright property, the Crown copyright over the uh, legal fiction, all right, comes back to that statement of law, who created it owns it, and they created it, not us. Now I know you've got like the argument of it was all fraud, and that's the whole point of what we are where we are because of the fraud that's been committed on us, but as long as you're declaring your interest, so you've separated it by doing the UCC1 and also separated it by getting the, uh, even if it's by uh, acquiescence by silence, which is what we've got from the other government agencies and everything, okay? All you want to do is to declare then, you know, that you've got an interest in the um, legal fiction. You don't own the legal fiction. And by owning it, you, want, you would be the trustee and you don't want to be the trustee. The government are the trustee. The owners are the trustees. And the trustee has all liabilities for the straw man, i.e. bills, taxes, all right, local and national, international, whatever it would be. 
So you don't want to be the owner. You don't want to be the trustee. You want to have the interest in it, i.e. you want to be the beneficiary. You want to be the beneficiary of the trust. Okay? Because it is a trust. All contracts are trusts as well, in a way. And everything that you do, when you when you uh, do business, do stuff, it creates a trust. You know, uh, between you and the, the other party. So one of them is going to be the settler and the beneficiary, while the other one is going to be the trustee. So if you give somebody something to keep a hold of for you, or lend them, say, fifty quid or whatever, fifty dollars, right? You've made a you've made a contract, but you've also made a trust. So if you've given them the money to keep for you, say, right, then they're, they're the trustee of that money, that $50, 50 pounds. You're the beneficiary and the settler because you created it. So we want to... Well, we want to be the uh, beneficiary of the trust. So what we want is we want all the good stuff. remember where I live you know we're, we're only uh, especially when you we haven't been working for a long time don't we? you know driving a lot <laughs> if you're coming along this bit you know the, the uh, motorway and then you forget to turn off so you're gonna go down to the coast you know oh, in the middle of the road anyway so that's what we're looking to do be the beneficiary so we've got to think carefully on how we argue, you know, and how we do our affidavits. Because, you know, in reality, you know, you don't own that legal fiction. You do not own that full capital's name, okay? And because you don't own it, you have no rights over it, all right? same as someone's house you don't own their house you've got no rights to it so you kind of just go move in when they're sitting in the bed all right and it's the same with the legal fiction the crown corporation own it so you have no rights over it so what should you do when you get some bit of paper come through your door with whoop, the uh, full caps name on it's not your property you have no right to open that letter. So if it's a bill, you have no right. You have no rights whatsoever. Never mind like uh, obligation. You got no right. You shouldn't be touching it. So even if you've opened it, everyone says return it unopened. But if you have opened it, because you're curious, you're nosy, <laughs> you can still return it. Write on it. Write oh, Forgive me. Remember that. Forgive me. Don't don't ever apologise. Don't say sorry, right? Because <laughs> when you're doing that, you're actually accepting any liability on anything whatsoever. You just say forgive me. You don't say sorry. You don't say oh I apologise. Just say forgive me. And you're being at peace. But you so right on it. Forgive me. Opened uh, accidentally by mistake. I do not know you. I don't know this person. Um, please return to where it came from. Seal it up and send it off. So that's kind of a easier way of agreeing with them and being at peace and sending off your uh, your mail, your internal mail. It's not post. It's not for you. You do not own that legal fiction, so you have no rights over that legal fiction and once you've separated it you've got to remember you know you have to do the paperwork properly so that you can actually prove that you've separated it you can't just say I, I decide that I take no responsibility for that now unfortunately I've seen like a few people coming and saying I've registered my name with the common law court they called it and because I've registered my name I've given up my uh, Surname, giving up the surname. What about your first name? That's still capitalized. It's not as easy as that. You can't just do that. Pay some money to, like, you know, the 
coming along court, get a new whatever it is, passport, birth certificate, and it says like I am now under common law. That's not going to work. You need to declare it properly. You do you know what you need to do? You need to declare it to God. Okay, so that you only swear allegiance to God. There's a proper word for it. I'm trying to think what it's called. Severance. You declare something like uh, holy or sovereign severance. Something like that. But severance, uh, severance, severe, sever, cut, severed the head off. You've cut off. So you sever yourself from your uh, legal fiction by those letters that we send out. That's what it's doing. If you did it, if you believed it or not. So when you're saying come in peace, and what I've done is like I've actually declared it, and I was trying to show you, right? Fair enough, you can notarize the forms, but you don't need to notarize them if you do it the way that I had said. Look, just say like declare you're doing it through God. They cannot deny God. So you're de like, what was it? The witness is uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it. But don't argue about it. You write what you want to write. If you think it should be Spirit because of this, so write that. If you want to be Ghost, write that. Yeah. If you want to be vodka, write vodka, holy vodka. But don't argue about it. Right? Don't message about it. You know. It really doesn't matter. What it does is it actually declares allegiance to the Creator, okay? And you can call the Creator whatever you want. Yahweh, Jehoshua, Jesus Christ, God Almighty, right? Whatever you want to call it, Allah, Buddha, makes no difference, okay? But, you know, you declare your allegiance to uh, God. And if you're declaring your allegiance to God, why should you have any ties to um, a government or a queen or, uh, you know, Doris. Doris and Watercock, eh? See what they're trying to do now? You think that this is ever going to go away? This is why I was saying the other day on the video, you've got to start trying to... If you haven't already started this process, get started now before it's too late because they are trying to ramp this up, okay? They are ramping it up. The, uh, you know what I mean, what they're doing? They used to sell these sweets. I never really liked them. They were called Revels. My mate, who I used to knock about with in school, he loved them, Revels. And, um, you know, if you bought like a bag of sweets, they were all different. They were chocolates, but they were all different. Different flavours. Some were toffee, some were orange, some were uh, coffee. I hate coffee flavoured sweets, it's disgusting. I never eat any sweets anyway whatsoever now, no chocolate. I eat black, what do you call it, dark chocolate, the, the really dark black stuff. It's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> it's very dry, you know. Don't, uh, but I don't have it. I don't have milk chocolate because it has dairy, and you see milk. I've never drank any dairy for 27, 28 years. I'm not allergic to it or anything. I just think it's disgusting. You know, down by the beach now, and uh, this is all on this side. It's all on the beach. Here is all the countryside, so I'm going down the beach. Beautiful. All along the coast. Fantastic coast, Northumberland. But anyway, uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll be doing that uh, webinar on a Saturday anyway. I'll be going over that. I went and got myself some. I'm going to do it on the board so I can write it all out, make it look, look good. I did slides last time, which are good still, you know, but <laughs> slides, I just made the slides. You know, my technical abilities and my artistry. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, have a board, a white board or whatever it's called, and, and I'm going to draw on it. So I bought new marker pens and I mean, I get bigger ones because I had some, but they were too small and I wanted to be able to see the writing. See, this is what I'm saying about like, you know, people are getting on a, a, a bus here going along the coast. <clears throat> and there they are, they're all. Can't hear them because they're wearing a nappy, a facial nappy. 
and now some say about them sweets there was different flavors and everything like that the variants <laughs> a variant yeah so they will have different sweets now we've got this thing and it's it's like different every week isn't it you know from all over the world been from south africa and uh india i think they're saying now you know i thought oh, come on man come on wake up for god's sake you know and they like, hey, I tell you what, you should like see these people that can stand there and like, you know, and lie. Watch Watercock, you can't look in the mirror, you can't, you can't look in the uh, camera because he knows you're looking in his eyes. He doesn't want you to see his eyes because he knows that the eyes, the window of the soul, you're seeing the lies. You're seeing the evil. It was pure evil. Doris and Watercock. But that's why you need to start this process now before it's too late. And this is just in this country, but in every country, you know. It's all the same. Coming into my little village, you know. I have to slow down because I'll be straight out of it again, so small. Right, so like, um, start the process because things are going to get tougher and tougher and tougher and you have to be protected and you should also look at doing a trust as well and putting everything you own and all your family in trusts an equitable trust or a family trust I can't do that anything for you now I, you know I'm trying to figure out like ways of doing it and sort it so that it's like not as it because it's expensive it's a lot of money so I'm trying to figure out how to do it I've got, I've got a couple of courses I've found I'm going to do them and then I'll be able to hopefully help or even employ someone to do it for you to help and set these trusts up. So, I mean like something three four five up to ten twelve grand go to uh solicitors you, pff, you sell your house to do a trust there's nothing left to put in the bloody trust but that's what you should be doing put it in a trust as well as you um separating and controlling the equitable trust of your straw man or your legal fiction so that you are the beneficiary not the trustee Okay. but you need a trust as well so I'll, I'll be telling you more about that soon once I've got this course sorted alright so you just take care then and I will see you later alright we think come in peace be in peace don't fight right? if you accept that uh, my dog's looking out the window <laughs> I love coming up to the house and seeing the dog looking for me the little one little Mia little Spanish Pedengo, she squeals. Meep, 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 meep. Anyway, see you all later. Take care. Bye bye.